everyone, welcome to Tim Conley Drums. I am on Fernandina Beach in Florida. It's so awesome here, the Atlantic Ocean in the backdrop here. And I thought I would shoot a video. Today we're gonna look at some paradiddles and have a lot of fun. So, the first paradiddle that we are going to look at is just your regular paradiddle. We're gonna pulse on the downbeats, one, two, three, and four, and we're gonna play it as 16th notes, okay? So, we're just gonna do one, two, three, four. One, E, and, a, uh, two, E, and, a, uh, three, E, and, a, uh, four, E, and, a. Uh. Okay, so right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Straight ahead paradiddle. Very important to get these paradiddles down as foundation, okay? A little bit quicker. Okay, now one thing I wanna talk about before we actually get into a lot of playing is how do you develop good technique? How do you develop that technique so that you can play fast? Now, speed is not the end all, be all, end all. Okay, speed is cool. It's always a flashy and exciting to see a drummer flying around the drum kit. That's really awesome. We all love it. However, what's more important is execution to develop the speed. Okay, so there's an old saying from music school slow equals fast. When I was in music school, some of the best teachers in the world, what they did was they made me do everything really slow and develop my technique to a very, very high level. Okay? So when we're doing this paradiddle to get the technique part, we want to make sure that everything sounds even, except for, of course, the downbeat, because we're playing, a, we're doing a, a free stroke on the downbeat. And we're getting the paradiddle nice and even. So I'm doing it nice and slow, making sure space. All my fingers on the stick. Fingers sticking out, finger out of the way. These are all my technique things, okay? Check out my other videos to get all the technique things down. So, the next one we're going to do, once we've got our technique down with that paradiddle, we're going to move on to the inverted paradiddle. So inverted paradiddle, for those of you that are unfamiliar with it, it's number six in stick control, by the way, in the stick control book, George Lawrence Stone, which I encourage every drummer to check out. The first paradiddle is number five. The inverted paradiddle is number six. It goes like this. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. One, E, and on two, three, and on four, E. This is also known as the paradiddle with the fiddle in the middle. Right? Very musical. Now you can combine those two paradiddles. I believe it's number 32 or 33 in stick control. So I'm going right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay, so that's the two paradiddles that we're gonna focus on. We're gonna push these paradiddles a little further. We're gonna push them into paradiddle diddle and then the inverted paradiddle diddle. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the paradiddle diddle. Paradiddle diddle sticking is right, left, right, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, left. And like we did in the regular paradiddles and the paradiddle diddle, sorry, uh, the inverted paradiddle, we're going to just accent the downbeat. In a grouping of six, so one, two, three, Four. Okay. So, right, left, right, right, left, left. Now, 
there's a variety of ways that you can play this. Okay, so the three ways that I like to play, one is the way we just did it, where we play them in groupings of six. One, two, three, four. So in four, four time, the grouping of six is played inside of the bar of four. Each grouping of six gets one beat. So we're jamming six notes into one beat. Very, very common thing, okay? The next thing you can do is just play it as a one bar phrase and you go right, left, right, right, left, left, second time, right, right, left, left, half a paradiddle or a paradiddle, right, left, right, right. So, right, counting that out, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now, what we can do with this if we want to change it, that's a one bar phrase. We can also do it as a two-bar phrase, flipping over to the left side. Okay? Now, you can do that where you're just using it as a one-bar phrase, two-bar phrase, four-bar phrase, whatever you want to do. It's not limited to just one thing. It's just another way to play it. The third way to play it, which is the least common way to play it, it's the most difficult way to play it, but it's super cool, but you need to have um, a lot more bars involved. It takes five bars to resolve this. So you're playing this regular paradiddle diddle, but you're crossing over the bar line. And when you cross over the bar line, it takes completely four bars, and then on beat, on bar five, beat one, you resolve it, okay? So you're playing over the bar line, you get to that fifth bar and you resolve it. All right? So those are the three ways that you can play that. Uh, another paradiddle that I really enjoy is taking the inverted paradiddle and playing it as a paradiddle diddle. So it's a, a six stroke roll again, but it's slightly different sticking. The diddle is now in the middle, but it's a paradiddle diddle, but the diddle in the middle. Just like the first one that we did, Right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. Okay, so you can also phrase that in those three ways that I just described. Exactly the same phrasing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So you can phrase it like that, where you're in a grouping of six. You can also phrase it where you play it as a bar phrase. So one. Now, you can play it as a paradiddle, an inverted paradiddle, singles, doubles, whatever you want, at the end. So beat four, E, and up. I'm going to do this one as an inverted paradiddle. So there's many, many ways that you can do that on beat four. The rest of the bar is, of course, the inverted little little. But at the end, beat four, you can change it up and play whatever you want. Okay? So those are the paradiddles that I wanted to cover today. Just a quick little lesson today. I want to get out and enjoy this. This is incredible here, the Atlantic Ocean here behind me. Just amazing. I love it here. I will be back to Canada to cold conditions <laughs> again soon. I'm here on a family trip. Thought I'd shoot this video. I want to thank those of you that have subscribed to me. I also want to say Happy New Year because it is the third today and usually people say Happy New Year for at least the first week. So I want to thank everybody for subscribing. I want to say Happy New Year. Please check out my merch. I got a new merch shelf down below. Please check it out. I've got about 67 or 68 designs using uh, Spreadshirt. There's some really cool stuff there. It's not just my logo per se. It's all kinds of fun drum stuff as well. So, thanks for joining me here on this incredible beach on this incredible day. Thank you very much. And remember, as always, keep drumming.